Hello and welcome back. Dublin versus Galway, the battle for Ireland's soul. Let us explain. We will also give you some facts that we bet you never knew. We were in Galway City recently and couldn't help but notice the vast difference between the city we live in, which is Dublin, and the city we stayed in, Galway. Between the two diverse cities, the differences are striking. If you are thinking of visiting either Dublin or Galway, Please stick around to the end and you will have a much clearer idea on where you want to spend time. Here are a few things that might help you to decide. Let's show you our own take on both cities after living in Dublin for years. Both cities have a fierce pride in who they are. In fairness, the size of the population would give greater advantage to Dublin in sporting terms. The differences don't just end there. The battle for Ireland's soul. Is that just an odd title or is it a fact. Ireland is changing. Both cities are like chalk and cheese to the eye and to the ear, both vibrant but for totally different reasons. In terms of size and population, Dublin City has a population of close to 600,000. Galway City has a population of close to 90,000. It's a village in terms of size compared to Dublin. That's the reality. By the way, if you find our videos helpful, please follow, hit the bell. We do appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more looks at Irish life and culture from inside the pale. The culture of Galway is way more convivial and friendly. Perhaps laid back is the word we are looking for. Laid back to the point of horizontal, in fact. Some might say speed is an alien word, but it is one of the most attractive features of Galway compared to the hustle and rush of Dublin. The contrast is very obvious to us and maybe to you too. The big difference is that Irish culture is obvious on every street and every street corner in Galway. Sadly, we cannot vouch for some of the singers, but that's life. While in Dublin, you need to look for the culture. It is there, but you need to know where to find it. Galway is also a very clean city with a lot of wall murals close to the street level, which don't seem to attract any vandalism. Also bear in mind, Galway University has a campus population of students and staff of 23,000. That makes an enormous difference to the age demographics. Galway's young population makes for a lively, fun-loving city where music and dance is at a highly visible level. Walk any street in Galway and you can hear it and feel it. So far we have looked at the differences in the two cities. With Galway having 22,000 students, this makes for a vibrant difference. And when you consider that number is 25% of the overall Galway population, you can see why there is a party buzz going on. And this reflects on the entertainment and the nighttime pub culture. Did we mention pubs? There are a lot on virtually every street corner, in fact, and the prices compared to Dublin would surprise you. We recently paid 5 cents off 10 euro for a pint of Guinness in Dublin. Towards the end, we will tell you what we paid in Galway. You might want to sit down for this one. Tourism plays a big part of the Galway economy and the Wild Atlantic Way concept has been a great success, inspiring the imagination of visitors. Obviously, most people have seen videos of Shop Street Galway. The equivalent in Dublin would be the Temple Bar area, which can be expensive. South William Street, just off Grafton Street, has a lot of street cafes and some shops, but the Galway Bohemian feel is missing. But let's not knock Dublin. Dublin is also vibrant and the number of visitor attractions is quite large. The hop on, hop off bus tours are the quickest way to see it if your time is short. They do the Book of Kells, Jameson Distillery, and Kilmainham Jail, etc. There are a number of tours that you can take from Dublin to Newgrange, a world famous 5,000 year old burial site, Wicklow National Park, and Hoth, a fishing village close to Dublin's east coast where fresh fish is always on the menu. In many ways, the differences between these two great cities is a microscopic look into Irish life and culture, and the differences between Dublin and the rest of Ireland. Outside of Dublin, life tends to be that bit more relaxing. The Irish language is spoken in both Galway and Dublin. It is the Republic of Ireland's first language, but you might be surprised to learn that in Galway, in the 2022 census, only 18% of people acknowledge speaking Irish while that figure was only 10% in Dublin City. With Galway City being so close to an Irish-speaking, gale-tacked area, that figure certainly surprised us. So that's a look and comparison of Galway and Dublin. One, a large, brash, multicultural city where political correctness can be to the fore and where the fast pace of city life has obscured 
the real value of the Irish language and culture. And another city where no one worries too much about things and gets on with life, where traditional Irish values still hold sway while the larger city struggles. If you agree or disagree, please leave a comment below. So now you know why we say the differences between Dublin and Galway is a microcosm of Ireland in general and the struggle to keep Irish culture alive and a fight for the soul of Ireland. Dublin versus Galway, the battle for Ireland's soul. What's your conclusion? Please comment below. By the way, a pint of Guinness in Galway City was five euro? Just half the price of Temple Bar Dublin? Yes, half the price. And here is the very pint in question. So expensive, we had to photograph it. That's some difference for exactly the same thing. If you have gotten this far, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and follow us by hitting the subscribe button. We hope to see you in the next one up there. Leave any comments, please. We love to hear your thoughts. Take care. See you soon.